And joining me now for more, Nancy Skinner, a syndicated radio talk show host, and Ben Ferguson, who is host of The Ben Ferguson Show. All right, Nancy, let me get you to respond to Ambassador Bolton on that. Um, you know, it's ridiculous on the face of it, uh, uh, Megan, because what he is saying is that we should never, ever let any foreign country control our forces. We would never participate in any NATO action like Bosnia or UN force. And what's and it's completely different than what's happening here is that hey we this UN resolution was passed was led by the Europeans joined by the Arab League we said once it was passed okay we'll do what we can do you know what we can do we can shoot Tomahawk cruise missiles that's what we do best but we're not going to run this this is going to be days this is not occupation the, the resolution says no occupation but this is what we do when we're done with what we did we're going to pull back and that's exactly what we're doing right and because ben, what we said is that after we the Arabs after do we not want this to be NATO. Right. She said, uh, President Obama said, we'll do it for days, and then we're going to transition of the uh, responsibility for this over to coalition forces. And what I was asking Bolton about, because it hit the wires just as we started the show from the AP, is that France is now saying that uh, the, the, person, the, the, the group that's going to be making the decisions is a political steering committee, and <laughs> not NATO, yeah. who will now be overseeing the no-fly we zone. Exactly. I, I, NATO is one thing. This isn't NATO. This is like trusting the United Nations to do something when it comes to war. And when was the last time they were successful in that? But the president has showed lack of leadership, saying, I'll follow, I'll follow, I'll follow. Then he gets into it. And we all know the reality. We're the ones shooting the mass majority of the missile, missiles. We're the ones doing the flying. We're the ones that are in charge. This president, though, somehow thinks that if he doesn't lead, the rest of the world will like us. And I think that's a very dangerous precedent because our American soldiers are going to be involved. You want people that are politically motivated being in charge of American soldiers that don't make good decisions, who aren't military men, who are not NATO and have no experience doing this. That's called total failure from this White House. <laughs> well, and there's just a little bit more crossing on this, Nancy, just as we speak. Um, this is on, according to Bloomberg. They say that the French foreign minister is proposing this political steering committee. It would Im include uh, many countries uh, and saying that the British are in agreement and uh, it would unite foreign ministers of the states involved as well as the Arab League. That's a and that's essentially who they want to us to transition authority to. How are you going to run a, a, I mean, a war, whatever you want to call it, a conflict with Libya through a political steering committee? Well, because the, the, the branding you're using is so off base, Ben. First well, of all, that's, just the, to that's, get from that's, that's from them. That's that's from the French. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to tell you. I'm, I will. I will direct this uh, uh, specifically answer your question. But we aren't flying the majority. Over 50 percent of the sortie missions are flown by other countries. But to this point, this is why they're doing this. The Arab League <laughs> has said, "Listen, we're in. We want calls for this." And, but they don't want to be led by NATO forces. Right. So the commanders, right. some from NATO, some from the Arab League, are working together. You, it's not a political. Ben, you make it Megan. sound like these are volunteers with no military experience. But speak to that point, experience. Ben, because these she's got it exactly right. The Arab working. League doesn't want NATO running this, and so don't they have to find some way of around making be, it a NATO and why, and, and why do they not? Because they know that NATO likes to usually win, and that's what I don't understand here. If we're going to be involved, why not do it the right way and win? And more importantly, this all comes back to the issue of leadership here. The President of the United States of America is in Brazil, who, by the way, is opposed to this, does not address what our goals are to the American people, does not come in front of the cameras and directly talk to the United States of America, and it's somehow he thinks, hey, if I don't admit that we're in this or I act like we're not in charge of it, somehow that's going to make everybody like me. And that's where the failures starts. If you're going to do this and put people in harm's way or potentially in harm's way, you better protect your own and you don't let somebody else ben. that may not have the interest of your soldiers ben. be Nancy, in charge of this. It's lack of leadership. Let me just ask this quickly, Nancy, because I heard some on the left praising the way President Obama handled that as opposed to an Oval Office address saying we've had enough chest thumping by presidents from the Oval Office declaring war acts. Well, this is what, what President Bush did wrong. It was unilateral. He didn't care about the UN, <laughs> went in. And you know what? By the way, Ronald Reagan attacked Libya in 1986 after some uh, Libyan people bombed a club in East Berlin, went in with against the Europeans and, and did all this. And what happened? Uh, it's the called Lockerbie protecting and defending Americans. Was, was two American service that. personnel were so, killed. That's so why. That's Ronald Reagan. No, and 270 people. No, on no, the Americans were attacked then, Nancy, and we defended Americans that day. <laughs> Ronald club, Reagan got it right, and Jimmy Carter even said it was wrong.
But Ben, where do you come down on it? Because we're not, I mean, so. you know, there's not a question about, it's unlike that situation in East Berlin, there were no Americans that were, were attacked here, at least recently. I, 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 uh, so we're going into Libya. Why? That's, that's what a lot of people are saying. You've got on both sides I, of the aisle. And, and Jim Webb, a, a yeah. Democrat of Virginia, said, there's been no debate on this. What's going on? Dick Luger, a Republican, I, I said, there's no plan on this. What are you doing? He's getting it from both sides. I agree with you more. Ben and the Nancy. It's called, it's called, it's called lack of leadership, and it's a debacle since the very beginning. The president didn't say what our goal and objective was. And this is what you call limited disaster or limited war. When you decide not to tell people what you're accomplishing and what you're trying to do, I don't think the president knows. I think the president he says heard it's a, a humanitarian lot of mission. humanitarian, humanitarian, humanitarian. So he goes, okay, I feel the pressure, so I'll do something, but I'm not in charge of it, and I'm not going okay, to tell said. the American people what we're doing. <laughs> All right, let me give Nancy the chance to respond. Okay, 700,000, uh, Gaddafi said he would show no mercy to a city, Benghazi, of 700,000 people and started acting on it. He, our president, consulted with, co with Congress, with the oversight committees at, sec at defense, at secretary, before this, he's continuing this. When you do have, he got the rest of the world community, including the Arab League, and protected 700,000 people from dying. That was it. If, he, if those people got killed, 700,000 people, Don't and he sat by, nations. then you would say, lack of leadership, lack of leadership. You'd say the same empty slogan. He moved, he acted, it's we're done in days, we're out, that's what we could do, and, and he did it. Okay, guys, I gotta leave it at that. Good debate. Nancy and Ben, <laughs> thank you both so much, as always. Thank you. Well, two